He almost cannot come up with enough superlatives to talk about the threat that Justin Jefferson is. You look at their lineups. Oh, he is so special. I mean, this guy is unguardable man to man. There's a toss. There's Jefferson's first grab. Just trying to get the ball in his hands. They should have pulled a manager four or five before McDuffie trips him up. Six. Right back to him on the other side. He's got a first down catch in front of Legereus Sneed. And that's kind of the matchup we anticipated today. Sneed on J.J. He's going to follow J.J. around. Sneed's off to a great start playing outside this year. McDuffie goes inside to the slot. But when you look at Jefferson and you watch each week, Teams who go man to man on him have no chance. He's a man killer. This year stands out on tape as being able to travel, guard the other team's best receiver. And you look right there zero touchdowns, two passes defensed. I mean, it's really hard to go against him. Problem is, you're going against maybe the top receiver, top two in the game. Akers is in the game. They fake it to him. They go right down the middle for a completion. Oh, man, look at that. Aggressive tackle by Justin Reed, and a flag is out. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense number 20, a 15-yard penalty, first down. That did seem a little unnecessary, Tony. Yeah, it always is if you're a Vikings fan for your best player. You're like, don't touch him, but go ahead and watch this. The play-action game right there, boom. That play-action just opened this entire window right here. And I think Kevin O'Connell is doing a he pulled down Justin Jefferson on the outside, and that's right. Illegal contact. Defense number 38. Jefferson is running deep, and ooh, that's a bad call, Jim. How well do you sleep all week if you know you're going to be on Justin Jefferson come Sunday? <laughs> Some guys look forward to it. Some don't sleep at all. <laughs> the idea, though, is the best want to go against the best. It's right down there, so you'll see. That could actually help them in some of the past game. Third and eight. And then intended for Jefferson, and a penalty is out. Pass interference. Defense number 22. First down at the start of the foul. So this is tough because Jefferson lines up in the slot, and then he runs an outside release fade, and McDuffie has to go over the top, and he can't find the ball. And that shove right there and that's is going to be called every mm -hmm. time. And it's just a good design play by Kevin O'Connell. And now a new set of downs at the 25. Akers and another flag. I think he was upset about the previous call. He took it out on Jefferson. And that's now four penalties on this Chiefs defense this drive. I think this is just the frustration, but watch. 38, Edie's going to go boom. He's going to go right into the helmet of Jefferson and keep his hand up there. And I think that happens sometimes to guys. Direction, it's a reverse. It's almost like an option you can take from there. Play action. Cousins trying to pick a big up. A big play off of that, and it's off the hands of Jefferson. I mean, this was an incredible route by Jefferson to be able to get free. He had hands on him all the way up the field. And right here, Kirk just throws it out a little wide, but Jefferson should catch that. Oh, he's going to catch that 95%, 99% of the time, you would think. Kirk threw it a little bit. A little outside. Aggressive and a little bit wide, but we expect Jefferson to never drop stuff like that at the wide out spot here's next gen powered by aws well here's a clear cut number one receiver uh justin jefferson and steed and him battling all day and they talk about man coverage and right now you know had an opportunity there but these two are battling back and forth a lot of game left and so far kansas City's done a very good job keeping him in check with yeah but where has he been they've got no reception third and seven this offensive line has done a great job on these so far today Looking for Jefferson. Broken up. Broken up by McDuffie. Edwards. Double coverage. This is just great range by the free safety. Edwards coming over, just tracking the ball and making a play on that. And McDuffie's had an outstanding start 
to this year playing in the slot. 22. Jefferson, by the way, still hobbling on the sideline. He's walking away from that end of the field. Wow. And that means you're going to really need Addison.